Step into our universe of infinite savings at Omega Mart. Omega Mart is America's most exceptional grocery store. It's the entrance to our Las Vegas exhibit. There's definitely some interesting occurrences that are going on in there. Like portals are opening up. There may be a vortex in an aisle. Customers are going missing. There are these really difficult spills appearing throughout the store. It's a difficult spill, and you're all alone. Don't try to clean it, put up a comb. Which cannot really be handled by any earthly cleaning products. Yeah, so Omega Mart doesn't really acknowledge publicly what's going on here. The whole thing is just ridiculous and kind of like unnecessary, and that's why it was actually kind of really necessary in a strange way. You have no idea what's in store. We did the first Omega Mart in 2009. Welcome to Omega Mart, valued customer. And it was pretty much like a glorified indoor yard sale. It was sort of a mixed um, bag of art supplies and weird, weird stuff that Meow Wolfers wanted to sell. A few years later, in 2012, we rented a space and we just sent all these press releases out that said Omega Mart comes to Santa Fe. They got a group of kids to participate in it, which was super cool. And we had saved all these old like cans and detergent bottles and boxes and you know, it was like, hey, what kind of product do you want to make? And like, they got it right away. Like, they understood satire and commentary. It was absolutely delightful. People thought it was a real store. <laughs> like, we'd have to tell them, oh, I'm sorry, like, this is not a real grocery store. This is my third Omega Mart that I'm working on. This right here is a mural that I did. It's called Part of the Food Chain, Part of the Fun. And that's like the classic Omega Mart slogan that we've been using since the olden days. This time it's way more elaborate though, just like every single aspect of Omega Mart. The idea is still the same as that original store. Each time it's been trying to make it more and more legit because it's more of like a commentary on that. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. There's every category of the store represented. Where you can actually buy products if you want. There's paper goods, snacks, fruits and vegetables and meat, chocolate that is glitched. Chocolate.jpg. Install the flavor. There's some classics that are coming back. Whale Song deodorant, antiperspirant, and antidepressant is now on sale for one twelfth off. Whale Song will outlive us all. There's definitely some hot sauces with an interesting backstory. What does nationally localized mean? I hope shrubs, avocado flavored frozen French fry treats are coming back. I'll write a strongly worded letter to Omega Mart to bring those back because they were delicious. One of the really fun things about this whole deli section of Omega Mart is that there's this kind of invisible character in the narrative. A contemporary artist who just became like fatigued and jaded with the contemporary art scene and wanted to work in the purest material possible, and that medium was meats. And so they will see kind of at a distance, it, it might look like a normal deli case, but you'll look closer and find that like they reference a lot of classical art or pop art. They just start to devolve into strangeness. Probably my favorite piece for the deli was uh, Botticelli's Birth of Venus done in olives, bacon, pastrami, and cream cheese. And Venus is half a Barbie doll. <laughs> And the blue chunks are basically like these milky translucent cubes with like a blue glaze over top. They were either like cut from some space creature or they were engineered in a lab. 
I feel like she's trying to say anything can be art and nothing is art, you know? And <laughs> The idea behind Omega Mart is that it's about the journey of this supply chain of this grocery store. This corporation has gotten access to this source of energy that is like more powerful than anyone can imagine, is kind of like the source of all creativity and imagination. Once you get through Omega Mart, you're gonna see the actual factory where a lot of the products are made. And it starts to get more and more strange. So you're entering like at the end point, but you're like peeling back onion layers to like figure out what's at the beginning of this thing. The image of the grocery store, it has always been this kind of like central cultural thing that all Americans kind of have in common. To get closer to that, you kind of have to like polish yourself up and like put on that like, you know, shiny grease just to, to gleam a little bit to even make it convincing. <laughs> That's the invitation we want to give to people. You know, you see a product on the shelf and you take it and you pick it up and you look at it. At first glance, it's totally convincing, but as you turn it and you start to read, you get this like deeper story that makes you rethink your relationship to the things that you buy. Blurring the line between like what's real, what's art. Is this real? Is this art? Am I real? Am I art? The store will be staffed with actual Omega Mart employees, and it's just like insanely surreal. It's exciting. It's happening. <laughs>